Hello again. Hello again and welcome back to the channel. As always, it is fantastic having you here today. Going to do something a little bit different today. I have some basketball cards. That's right, basketball cards. You don't see that a lot uh, in this corner of the old Tuberuski. Uh, I have a Chronicles blaster box. I have some more. I usually do baseball, sometimes football, occasionally hockey. Uh, but I'm going to do something different and give it a go. Uh, Carson Monks is here. Can uh, Thank you so much for joining me. Uh, you can wish me luck. Uh, there is 40 NBA trading cards in this Chronicles box. It does have a dinged corner. Ding corner in the box. Uh, but when you look at it, it should not affect uh, the packs themselves because it's just a, a little ding. Punisher Prime 81, thank you so much for joining. Bus Driver, thank you so much for joining. Uh, as I always like to say, you're one pack away from greatness, and I'm opening the pack anyway. So let's pull some rookie card fire. Also, if you've not subscribed to the channel yet, it would be awesome if you would do so. Uh, I would not turn down a subscription. You cannot turn down a subscription, but uh, uh, anyway. Subscribe if uh, you want to. It would be fantastic. Uh, we're looking for Zion. We're looking for Ja. Uh, maybe even Tyler Hero, some Kobe White, Rui Hachimura, Kendrick Nunn, RJ Barrett. Like I said, one pack away from greatness. Um, wouldn't it be crazy if I just pulled like a random Zion autograph or like a Ja Morant autograph? I mean, that would be cool. I got to admit, I might fall on my chair if that happened. I might. You never know. So there's still a bunch of packs. There's still five packs in here, eight cards per pack. Um, but still, it equals only 40 total cards, but only one pack. Only one of these packs has to contain greatness. Um, bus driver, you missed the last break. Uh, it was good. I I had a good time, and we pulled. The big pull was a Dylan Carlson short print rookie card that is worth, ooh, look at that. First pack out of the gate, there is a Zion. Anyway, um, yeah, we got a Dylan Carlson rookie short print in the last break. Uh, and I think the person who got it, he looked it up, and it sells for $50 to $70. So uh, that was a nice short print to get. Um, and then we pulled some other cool cards. But, yeah, it was a good break. There's going to be more uh, breaks in the future. I will announce them. It is Mother's Day. By the way, I know I'm opening cards. But uh, everyone has a mother. Not not everyone's mother is still with us. But it is Mother's Day on Sunday, so I I'm almost 100% not gonna have a break. I'm, I don't know for sure, but anyway. Uh, so if you have not bought anything for your mother, like cards or flowers or a gift basket, uh, there's still a couple of days left. And uh, trust me, your mother will definitely appreciate it. But back to it. We do have the Zion here. Uh, I just I just felt the need to say it for the mothers out there because you know what, mothers are awesome. So there's an Anthony Davis. And then we got a backwards card, and it's a Hometown Heroes. Oh, <gasps> look at that. First, first pack out of the gate. We have a Hometown Heroes rookie autograph of Terrence Davis. I got to say, if that was like a Zion autograph, I would have lost my mind. But it's still a rookie card autograph out of a damaged, out of a damaged blaster box. Can you believe it? Okay, so let me get it. Oh, sorry. Moved it. I got excited. Let me uh, get it in the sleeve. Rookie card, autograph, hometown heroes, Terrence Davis. I'm not, I honestly have no idea what it goes for. Um, I always have trouble getting things in sleeves. Oh, all these thick cards, I have trouble. Let me make it more room for it. But yeah, that is cool. I would be interested in seeing what that goes for, to tell you the truth. But uh, let me get it in the sleeve first. You know, one of these days I'm going to have to go out and buy thicker sleeves. Hold on. I'm going to have to buy thick sleeves. I only, only have regular sized uh, sleeves. Come on. Hold on. I don't want to damage the card, though. Goodness gracious. All right. I will figure out how to sleeve it later. Um, I don't want to spend the next hour trying to figure it out. Uh, Kobe White. And then we have a LeBron James marquee. Uh, one thing I've opened for Chronicles before. I actually did like a, a group break a couple of months ago. And I ended up sleeping up cards just nonstop because there's just tons of rookies and parallels. They just seem to be falling everywhere. Um, the set itself is like 700 cards, but there's just tons of rookies everywhere. So we're going to end up filling up this space. So that's first pack out of the gate. I mean, can you outdo that? I mean, I suppose you can. You can get like a Zion parallel. or a... What are the odds, though, that you'd even pull one? Uh, 
Then you pull even one uh, autograph. I don't think you can pull two in the same box. There is a Jackson Hayes. I do love Chronicles. I know that they loaded it with just tons and tons of rookies, and so each rookie itself is not worth a huge amount of money. But it is cool to see all the different different sets. Like uh, this is Playbook. The other one was Luminance. There's Marquee. Got Prestige. We have just regular Panini. Here's a Carson Edwards. I am going to be doing a lot of sleeving. I'm not. I'm not going to lie. There will be there will be many many sleeves used during the course of this opening. This is a, a, a non-rookie. There's a Bradley Beal, and there's an XR of R.J. Barrett. So let me let me just only put the rookies in parallels on there, because otherwise we're going to be running out of room in a hurry. But that's a uh, good things could be worse. There we go. I got it in the sleeve. I got the, the autograph in the sleeve. I thought that by cutting the sleeve, it would be easier to put it in, but then it actually ended up being harder. Like I said, one pack away from greatness. Uh, Chronicles sure is fun, man. It's uh, people don't people people uh, like the old prism. Of course, of course they like prism. But uh, I don't know it's a fun set. Just enjoy it. Getting a bunch of rookie cards. There's a Kendrick Nunn for the Heat. Look at that wild uh, wild Heat uniform. There is a Eric Paschal and R.J. Barrett. Man, I am doing a lot of sleeping. Lots of sleeping coming your way, Eric Paschal. Um, so other than uh. Ja and uh, Zion. Who who is your favorite rookie from last year? Is it uh forget this, Henderson? Just forget it. Uh, was it Tyler Hero? RJ Barrett, maybe. Who is on your list? Kobe White. Any sleepers you can think of? There's a uh marquee of Luka Doncic. It's a pink. Um, so it's gotta be some kind of a parallel because the other marquee we got is LeBron, and that is just a regular. Silver. So I might have to clear the deck just to finish this opening because otherwise we're going to run out of room here. And you might be wondering, why are you why are you slowing things down to sleeve everything up? Because you know what? I don't want the cards to get damaged. I'm going to be honest. I have a cat. I have a cat, and the cat is uh, just off the screen. And so there's a chance the old Kataruski might make an appearance, uh, unscheduled appearance in this video. And I want the cards to at least be sleeved up. There's a Rui. Threads. We do have a cam reddish we got a john morant a john morant man one blaster box 40 cards we got an autograph we have a jaw and we have a zion um so this one's a prestige john morant there is uh, the back of prestige and then we're finishing things off with a daniel gafford i'm gonna have to clear the deck i believe to uh you know what? i'm gonna have to make room because otherwise we're just gonna completely run out i'll just i'll just make a stack in the corner here so give me a second. So we got a vote for RJ Barrett with the New York Knicks. We have a vote for DeAndre Hunter with the Atlanta Hawks. Um, yeah, I mean, sometimes it just takes people to get a little bit of playing time. Sometimes they just got to get some uh, some professional experience. You know, it, it's hard to tell. I mean, some people just do really well out of the gate, and some people need some time. Um FJ Duckang, different year, but I think he will be good. So we have a Matisse Tybal. It's a playbook for you. We have a Seku Dumbaya. Sorry, I said that wrong. Luminance Seku Dumbaya for the Detroit Pistons. Follow it up with a Crusade of Taco Fall for the Boston Celtics. These Crusade cards are super cool. I don't know. Have they ever made like a separate crusade set? Uh, there's a regular Victor Oladipo. And then there is a essentials or a excellence or uh, Terrence Davis in that one. Um, I don't know. Some of these sets, I think, do they only exist to be in Chronicles? I'm not, I'm not quite sure to tell you the truth. Um, they might be because some of the sets you just never see outside of them. Says here, I butcher names bad on my chat. I, yeah, I, uh, you know what? I admit it. There's a lot of there's a lot of people who, who open cards and they, they act like they know everything and stuff like that. I am not that person. I admit that I know very little about a number of things. There's an Anthony Davis that is a luminance, but it's got a little pink thing in the corner, so I will sleeve it up. You know what? Honestly, they're called penny sleeves for a reason. Um, it doesn't hurt to sleeve things up. And uh, honestly, though. At the way that I, I hate to make it about supplies, but man, even though they're called penny sleeves, 
not always a penny anymore. It is hard sometimes to find supplies. God, you find top loaders, you feel like you've hit the, uh, you find top loaders and you feel like you've hit prison basketball. That's the kind of crazy world we're living in. There's a Goga, Batetse, Marky. There you go. So that was another good pack. So you have two more packs. I do have more packs, by the way. So it's not just going to be one blaster box. Um, so if you're interested in seeing more, uh, there will be more incoming. Let's see what else we can pull. There is a Kevin Porter Jr. He had dollar sleeves. <laughs> Let's hope that they don't get to be a dollar because that would mean, because usually, I got to make more room. Um, usually there's 100 sleeves per pack. So if they're dollar sleeves, Oh my goodness, that means 100 bucks for the pack. That would be crazy. So here is a Kendrick Nunn Donruss rated rookie. LeBron James, one of the non rookies in, in the set. Giannis is uh, another one, but uh, it's just a, a regular playbook. There is a Cam Reddish, and then we finish things off with a Recon Jackson Ace. Man, some of these sets just look really cool. There's an XR Reddish, like I said, and the Recon, I think that might be a parallel. I don't believe that all the recon cards are pink like that. The other thing, too, is it is hard to keep track. There's like, what, 15, 16? Um, there's like 15 or 16 different sets and stuff, and there's so many different parallels in each set, so it's just a lot to keep track of. Yeah, I would. If, I, uh, if they were dollar sleeves, I would be a millionaire probably. Uh, the, this pack alone would be worth more than the box of uh, cards. So we have a... Carson Edwards there. Like I said, you could be doing a lot of things with your time. So I'm very glad that you are spending that time with me right now. I really do appreciate it. There is a rookies and stars of Giannis. This is one of the rare packs that we have fewer rookies, but, uh, and we finishing things off with a, a fellow Pelican, a fellow, like a fellow to, uh, Zion, a Jackson Hayes. I have to say out of 40 cards, uh, I ended up slaving about 30 of the 40 cards. So that was a nice opening. Uh, we're not done though. I have some, I have some value packs. So let's see if we can strike, uh, get magical. Maybe pull a, an autograph out of, uh, out of retail value packs as well. Obviously we're still looking for the same people, Zion, Zion and Ja. Uh, look for the exclusive score inserts and also look for bronze parallels. Can you imagine if we got like a Zion bronze parallel? Or like I'll just keep saying, one pack away from greatness, so why not ask for that Zion autograph or a, or a Ja Morant autograph? I mean, why not? Sometimes you just got to ask for the world and see what is delivered to you. There's a Kyrie Irving. Bed Stewie. That's funny because um, they have the variation kind of names on the, the kind of jerseys because they, they want you to buy eight or nine jerseys. That's the first time I've seen that one. Uh, Bed Stewie. Hmm. Huh. Honestly, I don't know. Maybe that's a common one. I've never seen it before. Romeo Langford for the Celtics. Press Stige. Giannis. We got a Donovan Mitchell. A Jarrett Culver for the Timberwolves. Oh, 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 oh. That's right. There's a Timberwolf. Instead of be Timber. Oh, 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 oh. All right. Enough of that. Cam Reddish. Again, I will say this. Every single card seems to be flipped the other way around. I feel like I'm opening a Fairfield box or something with the amount of uh, twirling around I got to do with these cards. There's a Cam Reddish. There is a Terrence Davis. There's an Eric Fashel. Man, tons of rookies in the value packs, too. As you can see, uh, we're up to five already. You are searching, of course, for like some monster rookie card parallel or an autograph like, uh, like I mentioned. There is a RJ Barrett Illuminance. I will say that uh, the Illuminance cards, they kind of remind me of Stadium Club. They have the best photography. It says here, got an Anthony Rendon on-card auto of a Heritage Value Pack last week. Biggest name, but it was cool. You know what? I don't know why. I know we're talking about basketball now. Um, I don't know why Anthony Rendon is not valued more. The dude uh was like third in the mvp voting he he had a whole bunch of home runs a couple years ago he helped the nationals uh win the series he's awesome um i'm biased of course because i'm a nationals fan um but i think he's awesome uh, i'm not sure why he's not valued more uh now that he's playing behind trout i don't think he's going to get more appreciation for sure uh this is a cool flux of luca and as you can see right there behind it we have a zion 
So there's a Luca Flux. Um, that is a cool looking card. That is nice. And the Zion, of course, is always appreciated. If you could get a Zion in every pack, wouldn't that be something? But there is a Zion XR. Wow, that was a good value pack. That was nice. I uh, admit it. But congratulations. How many, by the way, um, talking about Heritage, how many value packs did you open to get? Because I've seen people pulling autographs out of those value packs. So that is that is interesting to hear. Um I wonder, do they fall more in the value packs than they do in the blaster boxes or in the mega boxes? Anyway, but as you can see, we got the Zion. I both, I'm not sure. I feel like this is a flux parallel because I don't remember the fluxes being that orangey color. Um, but like I said, we sleeved up a lot. I think that value pack, I got to look at the label. There's only like 20 or something cards on there. Or, um, you open three. So you open three value packs of Heritage and you got an autograph. That is insane. I've opened multiple. By the way, there are... Only 15 cards in a value pack of this. Um, I've opened entire, like, three or four blaster boxes and not gotten anything of note. So to open only three uh, three fat packs, that is that is very interesting. Um, if I write it right, it was one in 628 packs. Okay, so you just happened to get Monster Lucky then. So one in 628 packs and in three packs you got it. So there's a Kobe White. Back to the basketball. But congrats then on, on defying the odds. So, I mean, the Rendon, though, still, it's probably worth, what, 80, 90 bucks, maybe? Here's a Keldon Johnson with the San Antonio Spurs. We're flipping again. Got the uh, Luka Doncic, just a regular um, card. But you know what? Man, if it was his rookie, that would be awesome. So we have James Harden, a Jordan Poole. By the way, Bus Driver, do you, do you have a channel, or do you do all your openings off um camera and then punisher prime i believe punisher prime has a channel um let's see the other if you're still here let me know if you want to mention if you have a channel there's a first tyler hero we pulled and that is a luminance tyler hero that is cool sleeving up like i said i'm pretty aggressive about sleeving uh, i was going to do it anyway at the end so i might as well just do it now there is another luca this one's just a regular threads that's right get your threads Punisher Prime, yeah, go subscribe to Punisher Prime 81. Kyle Lowry, you have a Steph Curry. Every card, look at this, every single card is upside down. Every single one. Bam Adebayo. There's a Giannis Antetokounmpo. Um, I'm not, you know what, let me pull one of these other threads cards because I think, yeah, that must be a parallel because look at the Luka with the silver lettering and then there's the Giannis with the different lettering. So I wonder if that's one of those bronze parallels. They were talking about i will have to take a look later um some people in chronicles like miss um mislabel things when they're selling it and they uh, miss out we got a jaw look at that so we got an rj barrett here at crusade which is super cool but then we got a john morant honey marquee that is cool love it it's cool it's got like that rainbow foil kind of shine to it then we have a kendrick nunn recon yeah uh, Punisher Prime, I believe, uh, I believe I'm subscribed to you. I'm not sure. I'll have to check on that. Punisher Prime 81. But either way, go subscribe to Punisher Prime 81 if you have not already. Of course, I'm sure he would appreciate it. Um, and, you know, he would never turn it down. But you can't, like I said, turn it down. We have another, we have, we have more, by the way. I have a bunch. I have a bunch. Um, Chronicles is one of those sets that you can still pick up value packs for pretty cheap. And like NBA hoops is another one of those sets because you're not, you're probably not going to pull like a six or $700 card. So you can still get, um, you can still get not like cheap, but you can still get some stuff. And I managed to get some stuff and I'm opening it. LeBron James, Anthony Davis, the flipping, every single card flipping uh, continues. See, there's the regular. That is definitely a, a parallel because there's the regular Giannis and it's different lettering. I'm glad I caught that. Let me check this for a second. I'm sure my wife is texting me. Let me make sure everything is all right in the uh, in the wife sphere. The wife sphere, like I said. Let me quick text her back. And you can just stare at this Kevin Durant card for a second.
All right. So it appears that everything's all right, which is good. Always good to hear. So uh, moving on. Shaw Racing Collects, thank you for joining us. I sent you an email, but I sent out all the cards from yesterday's break in the mail. I sent you a tracking number, but since you are in Canada, I honestly have no idea when it will get to you, but that is what the tracking number is for. Um, I, <laughs> I did tell you this in the email. When I went to the post office, it was like $20. It was 20 bucks to mail the cards. I couldn't believe it. There's a DeAndre Hunter. I couldn't believe it. It was like 20 bucks. But uh, it was well worth it. I do appreciate it. Like I said, I did throw in some extras for you. Uh, I think I threw in a, a Vlad rookie maybe and a Beau Bichette rookie. So I, I kind of spoil it. But, uh, you know, just so you know, it will be there whenever it is there. This is a Nas Reed. Got another Carson Edwards. Man, just the parade of rookies continues. There's the Carson Edwards. Uh, but yeah, Shaw Racing Collects has a channel. Feel free to go subscribe. I'm sure he would very much appreciate it. Kevin Porter Jr. I can't remember. How long did it take the last time, Shaw? Last time I sent you something. Did it take a couple weeks? I, I honestly can't remember. These are super cool. These are Phoenix. Um... They have a nice, nice shine to them. I'm not sure if that's a parallel. It might just be a regular one. I'll have to take a look at that. Honest, like I said, a lot of people uh, know a lot more about cards than I do. I, um, I admit when I don't know stuff, which is a lot. It's it, we, we could be here for hours talking about all the stuff I don't know. Uh, so that seems like it was a Carson Edwards kind of value pack because we got three different Carson Edwards out of one value pack. I would have preferred to get three Zions out of that one value pack, but uh, I don't get to choose. I know I, I know, it's shocking that I don't get to choose, but because uh, I always choose the good stuff. So here, I think three to four weeks. It wasn't that bad. Three to four weeks, that was a long, three to four weeks is a long time in, in, in postal. Bus driver, looks like the Rendon. It's selling in the low 30s. Are you serious? That is like, that's crazy that it's only worth the low 30s for an autograph of a guy who's just awesome at baseball. Um, I was about to say awesome at life, but I don't know him personally. But uh, he's awesome at baseball. But still, it's still a great poll, bus driver. Um, I'm sure if you got like a Trout autograph, it would be worth like 800 bucks. So uh, starting out with a rookie, this time it's Jordan McLaughlin. Like I said, Chronicles is just, if you love sleeving up random rookie cards, man, Chronicles is your set. We have a DeAndre Hunter. This is just a regular Panini. Um, yeah, like I said, there's eight people it says here. Uh, I'm not sure if that eight includes me as well or not. But if you do have a channel and you want to mention it, then feel free to do so. Um, I know some people uh, have different kind of policies when it comes to promoting. But honestly, there's eight, six to eight people here. If you guys are able to all get a couple of subscribers, from just watching me open cards, that would be fantastic. I would, uh, I would be totally down with that. Obviously, I think everyone here is probably subscribed to me, but if you are not subscribed to my channel, feel free to do so. I would, I absolutely appreciate it, and I'm not just joking. I would appreciate it for sure. So that is a Cam Reddish, and then we have a like the first non-rookie of this pack is going to be a Kemba Waka. I don't know why I said it like that, but <laughs> I said it like that for some reason. Darius Garland. Follow it up with a Joel M. Bade. As we said before, you're one pack away from greatness. I opened the pack anyway, so why not pull some uh, Zion or Ja autograph player? Would be fantastic. It would be fantastic. I admit it. PJ Washington Jr., thank you so much. Punisher Prime 81. I do appreciate it. Um, Anthony Davis. I think that's a prestige parallel, I believe. Or maybe not. Maybe that's just a regular prestige. There is a Kendrick Nunn, and there is a it is a flux. Man, these flux. So, what is your favorite um, Chronicles subset? Is it flux? Is it marquee? Is it recon? Uh, luminance, maybe. What else do you have? Prestige threads. There's an RJ Barrett followed by a Cameron Johnson. So we have like you know out of the fifteen or sixteen sets, uh, we got a lot of them on display here. If you are just joining us, I pull, I think, two Zions and one Ja. But then out of retail, 
I have a blaster box. I opened up and I got this Terrence Davis rookie card autograph at a hometown heroes. I uh, I almost fell out of my chair when I pulled it. I couldn't believe it. It was super cool. Adam's card closet is here. I like to call him Adam's card mansion. If you have not checked him out, go subscribe to his channel. I don't know what number he's at. Are you at 300 or 400? Uh, but yeah, go give him some subscribers. Go check him out. He is awesome. Uh, super generous dude. Um, it says it's whichever that has big rookies on it. <laughs> There's a regular James Harden. I almost thought like it's definitely going to be a rookie. Uh, De'Aaron Fox. A Seku Doom Booyah. See, I got it wrong. I said Doom Baya the first time, but it's Doom Booyah. I apologize, Seku. I apologize, my friend. I say my friend. You're not my friend. I don't know you. Um, Jamal Murray. Uh, the the flipping of the cards continues, of course. Uh, it seems like literally every single card is flipped the other way. So, you know, that's just how it goes sometimes. Julius Randle. Got a Kevin Porter. It literally is every card. There's 15 cards, and I feel like I have to flip it 14 times or whatever. Kevin Porter Jr. That is a playbook. And next up, we have a Jarrett Culver, and this is a Luminance. I, as a fan of photography, I like some Luminance, for sure. They have some amazing photographs. Um, the regular Panini set, which is this one here, is probably my least favorite set, because it's the, uh, the plainest, uh, with almost zero design elements that it went into it. I also like the Flux. I like the Crusades. Uh, we have a Cameron Johnson. Man, still stacked with rookies. I would not turn down a Zion and a Jaw, though. Like I said, if I pull a, a Zion autograph or a Jaw autograph, I might just, uh, um, I don't know. I'll probably scream. I'll probably scream. There's a uh, Nikhil Alexander, uh, Walker, Kawhi Leonard, another Nikhil Alexander Walker for uh, Crusade. We're crusading. It's got that chrome ish finish, which is super nice. And then we have the, uh, what is this? The E, is that Essentials? I believe that's Essentials. Yeah, it is Essentials. Of uh, Jordan Poole. That has a cool shine if you've never uh, never seen. And then a Tyler Hero Recon. These Recon cards are cool as well. So um, no monsters out of that pack, but it was still cool. We got a bunch of rookies. Like I said, you're just kind of like, like you're one pack away from greatness. You're like one rookie. You're one rookie breakout away from, uh, if you're wondering, I have about 10 more packs. So uh, we will probably still be here for a while in case you're interested. Uh, this will be it for basketball. I, uh, I'm i probably not going to be able to find any more. I was honestly lucky to get these to begin with. So, But, you know, I figured why not do the basketball live since it is so rare. Um, and then I'll be back to baseball because baseball, as it turns out, I can find. I could find baseball. There's Darius Garland. I mean, when I say I could find, I mean, not like Bowman and stuff. I could find um, Series 1, Heritage, that kind of stuff. Opening day, P.J. Washington Jr., rookie card. But you know what? I pulled some good stuff out of Series 1 and uh, Heritage and out of opening day. I know they don't they don't get the, uh, the biggest amount of acclaim. There's a John Morant, Threads. They don't get the biggest acclaim, but uh, they're cool. Like I said, there's a, what that? I think that's a second jaw, I believe. There is an Anthony Davis playbook. We have a Jackson Hayes Luminance. So let me know how your card journey has been going lately. Have you been able to find anything either on the internet uh, or in person at a store? Have you pulled anything fantastic? I know Bus Driver mentioned that he pulled an Anthony Rendon autograph. Um, Punisher, what's what's your latest best pull? Um, Adam, did you get anything crazy? Um, Adam, did you get anything crazy at one of BMAX breaks? Uh, last, I don't know if you were in it or not, but um, did you get anything crazy? Or did you personally pull anything crazy at a, a pack or anything? Shaw Racing, what's uh, I, th I think you're still on lockdown up there, right? Are you still on lockdown up in uh, up in Ontario? Um, like you can't even get stuff delivered to your house. There's a Tyler Hero, Kevin Porter Jr., and a Marquis of PJ Washington. 
to finish that pack out. But we did get a Jamarant Threads. So there we go. Um, best pull was the one you pulled the other day. <laughs> Zion, rookie. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Stop the presses. Punisher Prime 81. My best pull was a Zion, rookie, prism, autograph. Are you kidding me? How much does that go for? By the way, A, congratulations. And B, how much does that go for? And C, did you go and buy lottery tickets? Uh, Nathan Rotunda could have bought 34 top series one fat packs, but was, do I really need that? Um, Nathan, I don't know. Thank you for joining us, Nathan, by the way. I don't know. I don't think you have a channel, right, Nathan? If you do, please mention it. Um, I, like I'll say again, one pack away from greatness. Will this be the pack that we pulled the Zion autographs or the uh, jaw autograph? We'll find out. Um, didn't get in last night since I was in here yesterday. Okay. It's on your channel. I sent it to PSA and it came back at gem 10. So it's got to be worth a small fortune then, right? Like a thousand, two thousand bucks, something crazy. Uh, in case you're wondering, Nathan, I have had some good luck with the fat packs, but in general with series one, the fat packs, there's a James Harden. The series one, I find I either get one rookie or six to eight rookies from a fat pack. I would rather get hanger boxes because the hangers have been the absolute best to me. I, uh, I, that's my favorite, um, format. Wait a minute. Punisher Prime one sold yesterday for $5,200. So are you keeping yours or are you going to sell that? Cause $5,200, that would pay for a whole bunch of stuff. Like that would pay out bills and that would, that would, uh, yeah, I mean, $5,200. Holy smokes. I would be, I would be sell, sell, selling, but that's just me. Romeo Lankford, luminance. That's crazy. $5,200. Keeping it. Well, if he has a stellar career, then that could that might be worth what? You know, ten, twenty, thirty thousand dollars $30,000. There's a Kendrick 9, but that is like the pull of a lifetime, huh? Speaking of Zion, here is a Zion regular Panini uh, rookie card. So we are getting some Zions. Like I said, they... Uh, I will watch. I will go check it out when I get done here. Let me write it down to do that. Um, that would do it. Did you fall out of your chair? Um, so when you did that, um, did you just get it out of a regular retail pack, or did you manage to score a uh, score hobby last year or something? There's an Anthony Davis for the Lakers, and there is a Chris Middleton, and then here's an upside down. It's an autograph. Holy smokes, an autograph out of a retail pack. Man, it's like a Raptors autograph kind of parade. There's a Chris Boucher autograph. Can you believe it? Look at that. Chris Boucher autograph. Uh, I love autographs. I will, I will put it out there. That is a low effort signature, if ever I have seen one. But, man, it is hard to complain about a, uh autograph out of retail. Um, not sure how much the old Chris Boucher autograph goes for, but it's always cool to pull one. Even if it is a little squiggle loose, squiggle loose, squiggle loose. Uh, RJ Barrett it says here, check out the video. May, I made payments to my card shop owner for a box of prism. It was the only box I could afford. And I freaked out. Um, Shaw. Yeah. He plays for the Toronto Raptors. You should tell him next time you see the Raptors in person, he should put a little more effort into his... Uh... Yeah, it's funny, Shaw. I pulled two autographs so far, and they're both Toronto Raptors. Terrence Davis and Chris Boucher. Um, so, yeah. What are the odds that... Um, that uh... Don't get me wrong. It'd be so much cooler to pull like a, a Zion or whatever, but it's cool to always have autographs. Um, after this, like I said, I have some NBA hoops. So we were going to be searching for the mellow ball and some Anthony uh, Edwards. I love how you capitalized. Um, <laughs> I hate the way guys sign up. No pride. I know that they sign like uh, hundreds, like hundreds. They sign like thousands of cards. Um, but still, like you're getting paid money. You're getting paid money to sign the cards. Like at least put a little bit of effort. A little bit. Zach Levine. Eric Pichel. I mean, it is, you know, for them, it's extra money. It's a job. So, you know, I would sign it. I mean, I wouldn't do like full, full cursive signature on everyone, but I would, I would at least make it uh, recognizable to my name. There is a Kevin Porter Jr., a Matisse Tybur. I don't know why I pronounce it that way, but there's a Matisse Tybur. 
Uh, followed up by another. Oh, sorry, that was that Kevin Bar Jr. Uh, is that a Seku? Another Seku Dumbuya? It is, I believe. Yep, Seku Dumbuya. God, it'd be fun doing uh, photography for luminance, wouldn't it? It seems like you have like some really good on court access to get that. It says here, Kendrick Nunn, genres rated rookie. It says here, there's a bowl bowl. I, was, I thought it was designed for a second. I agree, Sha. Um, when I race cars, I signed around 100 a night and always made it personal and made sure signatures uh, I would want. That is awesome of you. That reminds me of, of, uh, of Gretzky. He used to wait wait after games when people came to the bus, and he would he would sign and sign and sign, um, no matter how many people were there. Um, never got to get a Gretzky or Lemieux autograph. Uh, that would be something. Uh, Brandon Clark flux cards are super cool. These flux cards are uh, one of my favorite kind in the Chronicles subsets. We have the uh, essentials. The kind of essentials kind of reminds me of. Um, of uh, illusions a little bit. Very, very similar kind of look to them. There's a Keldon Johnson with a not fantastic corner, which is a shame because it looks like it's a, a bronzy parallel, but it does not have the fantastic corner. That's how it happens sometimes with the old value packs. Um, I have seen, by the way, why value packs can have bad corners because sometimes they get delivered in boxes. They just get tossed into the boxes. I'm not joking. Like There's very little effort put into the packaging of them. Yeah, but would have to wait because his dad would sign more than he did. <laughs> yeah, I heard that too. Um, the old Gretzky family, man. I wonder what's going on with the old Gretzkys these days. Um, I know we tried coaching and it did not. There's a Zion on the back. We tried coaching. Did not work out terribly well. But uh, let's be honest. A lot of famous players. There is the XR Zion. I'll just sit sleeve it up right away. A lot of famous players have not been uh, have not been fantastic at coaching as it turns out. But they don't need to be because they're they're still going to be famous forever as players. So Romeo Langford, and I see what else we got. Walter Wayne's dad just passed away. How old? I'm not sure how old is he. Anyway, it's always sad. It's always sad, you know. Panini threads, Jared Culver. It is sad when people pass away. There's been a lot, a lot of passing away um, in the last year plus, but I will try not. Thank you, Adam, for even joining us at all. Uh, I hope your, I hope your recovery is doing well. I hope you take care of yourself. I hope you're back to full strength soon. And I absolutely appreciate you. Um, I absolutely appreciate you stopping by. I will be on the lookout for your next video whenever it may be. Uh, Nikhil Alexander Walker. Like I said, after this, I have some NBA hoops that I will be opening, and that will be that. Um, this was completely like un like un. Uh, I didn't announce it at all. I just thought, you know what? I got some packs. I will open them up, and uh, let's see who wants to join me on uh, what day is it? Tuesday. Today's Tuesday, right? I can't see. Honestly, like time has lost has lost meaning um, in the last year or so. So uh, we have a Jordan Poole with the Golden State Warriors. As you can see, not all rookies have the same amount. Like, there's far more uh, Zion and Ja rookies. Feel free to stay in touch. I will look out for more. Yeah, thank you so much, Punisher. I will go check out your video, and uh, it should be awesome. It should be awesome. Who is this? Look at that. Walt Frazier autograph. Wow, this is the third autograph that we've gotten out of retail. Walt Frazier. Man, old school Hall of Fame autograph. Look at that. That is so cool. Walt Frazier. I have no idea how much that goes for, but man, that is nice. That is a sweet card. Fantastic. And a Cam Reddish. Look at that. Yeah, that's a good one to go out on. I don't know if I'm going to be able to top that. Man, Walt Frazier autograph. That's that's a bigger pull than the um, than the Zion probably. Okay, so we have one more pack, of two, no, two more packs of Chronicles. Um, <laughs> I love Shaw. It's not a Raptor. Not all autographs have to be Raptors or Toronto related. <laughs> we broke the streak. We broke the streak of Raptor. Um, 
of Raptor autographs. Like I said, go check out Punisher Prime 81. He has a PSA reveal video that's apparently going to knock your socks off. Um, Matisse Tybal. It's not a Raptor. That's so good. Anthony Davis. Uh, Luka Doncic. Luka Doncic. Uh, Rui Hachimura. That's a nice looking luminance card. That is nice. So, like I said, these are uh, um, whoever whoever didn't want these these Chronicles packs. Um, I wonder if they're watching. Who knows if they're watching? Well, they wouldn't even know if it was their packs anyway, to be honest. Um, but man, Chronicles retail. I'm not saying uh, results may vary, of course. But it is nice to pull some cool stuff out of retail because let's be honest, I am not buying hobby boxes. Not not at the not at the prices the hobby boxes are. Holy smokes! There's a John Morant. Prestige. Always good to get the job and the Zion. Always. Yeah, I will not be buying hobby boxes. Um so I don't know, are you still Nathan, are you still here? Did you did you say did you turn down the um the fat packs for $170? How many was it? 29 fat packs? Um these I got these for fifteen dollars per pack. Fifteen buckarooskies for 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 four Per pack. Man, English. English is a language. Um, of course, shipping too. Shipping too as well. But if you buy if you buy in bulk, then uh, it's amazing. Like, not to Canada, but in America, it's amazing how much you can cram into a medium flat rate box. Um, like, you can probably fit 30, I'm not joking, like 30 fat packs into a medium $15 flat rate box. Um, you can fit even more into the $20 uh, large flat rate box. Uh, there's an $8.50 bubble mailer, which if you guys have joined my breaks, maybe you, you have gotten the $8.50 bubble mailer, and you can get a box that fits inside the bubble mailer, and you can fit a whole bunch of stuff for $8.50. Canada, they do not offer they do not offer an option. Oh, there's an Essentials. I think it's a bronze parallel, because that is definitely a different looking card. Um, let me uh, put it aside. Uh, they do not offer some awesome shipping rate to Canada at all. Regardless, there's no flat rate. It's just kind of like you pay whatever you pay. And honestly, I get you get to the post office, and it's just an estimation. Because I got there today. I was like, I have no idea how much it's going to cost. And they were like, $21. And I'm like, I guess that's what it costs. Um, so there is no estimator as far as I know when it comes to Canada. But yeah, in America, there's flat rate 850. There's flat rate 15. And there's flat rate 20. So I know I just gave a, a long little lecture about shipping, but in case you're wondering, you can special order for free the uh, 850 bubble mailer. And what I do is I put uh, two of the flat rate $8 boxes, and you stack them on top of each other and put them in the bubble mailer. And for 850, it's amazing what you can get in there. There's a little, I might make a video. I might make a video of it one day if anyone's interested um, about how you can fit. And then it's it's always 100% perfect. Per, it's 100% protected because it's in a box. But let's get back to the cards. We have a PJ Washington. No one, no one clicked here thinking, man, I want a tutorial on how to maximize shipping. But you know what? You don't always get um, exactly what you're looking for in life. Sometimes uh, life throws you a curveball. Serious, Carl. Now would be a good time for that, uh, for that Zion autograph or that John Moran autograph. I mean, we've already beat the odds. But why not beat the odds even more and just get something even crazier, huh? Like, why not? I mean, we got a Walt Fraser autograph out of nowhere, so. There is a Kendrick Nun, second to none. I wonder how many people have said second to none. Jordan Poole. There is a RJ Barrett. As you can see, I don't think I'll be sleeving up quite as many cards when we get to... Uh, Quite as many cards when we get the MBA hoops. But uh, is this the same Goga? I think it's the same Goga. And talk about weird collation. Let's just take a minute. Oh, it's a parallel. Look, it's a parallel because uh, different lettering. Different lettering. Okay, let me set aside all these these bronze these bronze ones. So there's a Kobe White Hometown Heroes. I got to say the Hometown Heroes cards look really cool. They uh, seem to be pretty rare too because... Uh, and then there's a Seku bronze colored PJ Washington. So that'll do it for the Chronicles.
Um, I honestly, I think we did pretty well for whatever the 10 packs or so. I'd have to look it up like value wise, but I think we did pretty well. Um, now we're going to go to hoops and we're looking, it's a different year. So we're looking for LaMelo Ball and uh, we are looking for Anthony Edwards. Uh, who is your favorite rookie from this current year? You let me know. Uh, LaMelo has been hurt and Anthony Edwards was the top pick. Who is your favorite rookie of this year? There are 30 cards per value pack. I have about 10 of these as well. A little bit more maybe. Um, they don't have odds. The best they say here is on average, non-base cards are included approximately four in every pack. That's the best they're going to give you as far as odds. This is what I like. Tops, tops will give you the odds regardless of how bleak those odds happen to be. Okay. They just let you know the odds up front. Um, anyway, so NBA hoops. Okay, one pack away from greatness. So how about a LaMelo Ball autograph and uh, an Anthony Edwards autograph? So there's a Gordon Hayward, a Jackson Hayes, Paul George, Giannis Antetokounmpo, Thaddeus Young. This is the first time I have opened hoops this year, and it will probably be the last time that I open hoops this year. So let's make it count, right? Let's make it count. Fukovic, um, Rubio. So Nathan, you didn't answer about the uh, the fat packs. Are you still here, or did you just um, did you decide to go back and buy them? Honestly, if you were able to find like ten hanger boxes of Series One, I would go. Oh, we got something here. I'm not sure if this comes in every pack, but let's see what it is. Is it going to be a Lamelo Ball? It's going to be upside down. So Patty Mills. Um, it's got a cool kind of shine to it. It is a uh, don't even. I'm, I'm going to be honest. I don't know the parallels in NBA hoops off the top of my head. I don't know the parallels in general in NBA hoops. So I just know that the, the the few rookie cards that you were looking for. There is a Bradley Beal lights camera action. Follow it up with a vanity plate of Giannis. I'm not sure if that's uh, worth anything whatsoever. We have a Steph Curry. Lights, camera, action. It's got a cool little shine to it. And here we go. We got rookies. We have a Killian Hayes for the Detroit Pistons. So I'll sleeve that one up. We have an Aaron Nesmith for the Boston Celtics rookie. We have an Obi Toppin. I have heard of Obi Toppin because that name is super unique. Not a lot of Obis out there. A Tyrese Maxi uh, rookie card. So we're getting a bunch of rookie cards. Let me know are any of these are any of these rookies? Uh, I'm going to be honest. I've watched a lot more baseball than basketball recently. Are any of these rookies blowing the doors off of the joint? Desmond Bain and a Cassius Stanley. Yeah. If you're able to help me out, if any of these rookies are just, uh, you know tearing the roof off of the arenas, let me know. So there we go. We got a bunch of rookies there. And that first pack, we get, like I said, about 10 more to go. One pack away from greatness. Give me LaMelo Ball, rookie card autograph, and Anthony Edwards, rookie card autograph. No. Uh, you might wonder, why does this guy keep repeating himself? Because you have to remind the universe what you want. You must tell the universe what it is that you want. Um, actually, you don't have to tell the universe what you want. But I find that if you do tell the universe, they are they are more likely to. Uh... Wow! Look at that! Look at that Minnesota Timberwolves uniform. Man, that is quite the uniform. That would stick out in a crowd. You uh... look. I'm not gonna pronounce all of the uh, vet names because let's be honest. The the rant we have, we do have a spacer, so I'm not sure if that means something. Every time there's a spacer, I'm not sure if it means that something good is in the pack or if something. Uh, mediocre is in the pack. So I'm never sure about that. I do I do know that uh, it's the first 20 or so cards in the pack is just going to be uh, regular veterans. And here we go with the first. Ooh, we got something. It is an autograph of Chris Humphrey's great significance. It's an autograph. Chris Humphrey's not, not like a Mega name, but uh, 
We got an autograph. Look at that, huh? An autograph out of a retail pack. And look at that. We do have a rookie card parallel of Theo Maladon with the Oklahoma City Thunder. Man, that has a cool shine to it. That is super cool looking. Look at that. Uh, not sure how Theo Maladon is doing. Um, so the spacer was good for us this time. Not sure how uh, Theo Maladon is doing, like I said. But uh, that's a cool parallel. We have an Emmanuel Quickly. There's an Anthony Edwards rookie card. There we go. Number one pick. Number one pick. Man, can you imagine if we got an Anthony Edwards or a LaMelo Ball, one of those parallels? That would be something. So we did get an Anthony Edwards. Let me sleeve that up immediately. A Sadiq Bay. Man, this is quite the pack, huh? Quite the pack. I was able to pick up the hoops packs for cheaper than the uh, the, the cheaper than the Chronicles packs. So less of a less of a gamble on those. There is a Theo Maladon regular base card. Let's put it underneath the, the parallel so you can see the difference there. If you look at that shine. Um, yeah, honestly, the, that parallel looks better. And honestly, nothing against Chris Humphreys, but he is not the biggest name. I have imagined, I, I'm not knowing much about Theo Maladon. I imagine that card is worth more than the Chris Humphreys auto is. But still, never going to turn down an auto. Uh, let's be honest, we're never going to turn down anything. We have more packs. One pack away from greatness. Like I said, I keep saying it, and you know what? The opening has been working for me. So uh, ride, in general, you find that it's best to ride whatever is working for you, right? At least that's what I find. Spencer Dinwiddie, Joel Embiid. Like I said, you could be doing a lot of things with your time. So the fact that you were hanging out with me is uh, greatly appreciated. Chris Stapps, Porzingis, J.J. Redick. There's a Tatum. Patrick Beverly. Chris Middleton, Chris Dunn. So the, it's front loaded. It is front loaded uh, with veterans. Looks like we got another parallel coming up here. So I don't want to race to it, but uh, you know, no one needs to just. Uh, there's no one needs to just see me flipping through uh, um, random vet stuff. So let's see. Will it be a Lamelo Ball or an Anthony Edwards rookie card parallel? It is a DeAndre Ayton, so it is a veteran, but uh, it is cool. It is a veteran, um, DeAndre Ayton. And then we got a slam card. Um, are these the super, the super rare inserts? I cannot remember, but there's a slam card of Kevin Garnett. Let me get it in the sleeve. Slam. I'm not sure if that's just a regular insert, honestly. We do have a frequent flyer, and it is Damian Lillard. We got a Zion vanity plate. Oh, hello. There's the LaMelo Ball rookie card. So there we go. We got the two big uh, rookies. We got the Anthony Edwards last pack. We got the LaMelo Ball in this pack. Man, we are already like we're already uh, on top of uh, on top of the game here. Uh, Udoka Azabuke. Rookie card for the Jazz. Malachi Flynn. Rookie card for the Raptors. For the Raptors. Uh, Daniel Oturo. Turo, sorry. For the Clippers. Cassius Winston for the Wizards. And finally, there's going to be a Trey Jones for the Spurs. Man. So, And then, of course, we have that vanity plate of Zion, but that's a second-year Zion card. But you know what? Um, I, it's like I said, I have to look up what those slam cards, uh, go for. Um, but man, it looks cool. And you know, Garnett was a fantastic player. We got a, a number of more of these to go. I'm going to say it one more time. One pack away from greatness. We already got the base version. So let's get the LaMelo ball and the Anthony Edwards autograph now. One pack away. You know what? The next pack can also provide, uh, can provide magic. Man, how many times have they reused this Kevin Durant picture? The same picture from the same photo shoot. As, I know he was injured last year, but like seriously? Um, Jared Culver, 
Man, those Timberwolves uniforms. Ooh, they they light up. It looks like those blue parallels. You come one per fat pack. So Montreal, Montreal have Harold. Sorry, English is a language that I speak. Sometimes, sometimes not so much. Tori Craig. Sometimes I speak the language of gibberish. Mo Bamba, Devin Booker. So here we are. Is it going to be Lamelo Ball or Anthony Edwards or not there yet? It is a Hornet. It is a Nicholas Batum. So it is not the Lamelo Ball, but I'm going to sleeve it up anyway because it is a cool looking parallel. And it honestly, it doesn't matter who the player is. It still looks cool regardless of the value. Um, Frequent flyer. There's another Zion. You know what? Let me go back to that other uh, Zion because um, that must be a parallel. Um, let me find it because I will do a side by side comparison. So the first vanity plate has this shine to it. And I thought that was just part of the normal thing. But here's the second vanity plate and it does not have a shine. So this must be a parallel. I didn't know that they had those. But uh, so look, you can see the side by side comparison of different colors. So there you go. Uh, and then we have a lights, camera, action, Russell Westbrook. And uh, I, think, I think all the lights, camera, actions are uh, that way. There is a Jamiris Ramsey with the Sacramento Kings. An Alexei Pokusevsky for the Oklahoma City Thunder. My cat is awake. So that is possible. Danger. Cute. Danger in acute form, um, but danger nonetheless. Eric, hobbies and games. Uh, go subscribe to Eric's hobbies and games. He would, I'm sure, absolutely appreciate that. Uh, Eric, just so you know, I did mail out the cards from yesterday's break. Today, I sent an email with the tracking number, but just since you're here, I will let you know that the cards are on the way, and I hope that you enjoy them, and I hope that you had a good time at the break yesterday. Jalen Smith, so as you can see, there's like, what, five? Like five rookies in every back, so six rookies in every value pack, um, and then we got uh, there's one one of these, whatever they're called, teal parallels or blue or whatever, but they're cool looking, and uh, we're still looking for the Lon Lonzo Ball and the uh, not Lonzo Ball, the Mellow Ball and the uh, Anthony Edwards blue parallel. We of course would take another autograph. Say it one more time. Uh, one pack away from greatness. So let's pull some. Fire. See here. Uh, awesome. Yeah, I got it. Thank you. Uh, also, that hollow. $15. $15. Well, thank you for letting me know. That is super cool. Like I said, uh, baseball is a lot more my wheelhouse. I wouldn't say it's my specialty, but it's my wheelhouse. And uh, so basketball is not unfamiliar, but it's, you know, it's not as familiar to me. Same with football. Um, so yeah, any help that you are able to provide, I absolutely appreciate it. Um, I fully admit what I, uh, what I don't know and what I don't know is a lot. I know you're probably thinking, man, you're really open about the fact that you don't know a lot. Yes, I am. So the little, the blue card is coming up the parallel and we want it to be a LaMelo ball, uh, or a Anthony Edwards. So will we get lucky? It is an Eric. Bledsoe, so another veteran. Also, if it is not going to be a rookie, then you probably want it to be a LeBron or a Giannis or maybe a Steph Curry. But, you know, we got an Eric Bledsoe because we get whatever the packs give us. There's an Anthony Davis regular vanity plate card. And uh, at least you can admit it. I always admit it. Nicole, Nikola Jokic. And, ooh, there's a different intro. There is a jersey swap of Bam Adebayo and Donovan Mitchell. This is the first one I've seen of these. I don't know if they're rare or anything, but it's the first one I've seen. Okay, back to the rookies. We go. We got a Skylar Mays. Like I said, if any of these rookies, not named LaMelo or Anthony Edwards, is having a really good year, please let me know because I just, I've been watching more baseball than basketball. I fully admit it. Peyton Pritchard. And uh, so I'm not up on all how all the rookies are doing. I know that LaMelo has been hurt, but... Uh, like I said, Patrick Williams for the Bulls. A Devin Vassal and a Nico Mannion. And a final one is going to be a Grant 
Ryler. So if any of these are massive uh, rookie cards, feel free to um, clue me in. Like I said, Eric Bledsoe was the teal blue parallel card. Um, not the biggest name in the history of the universe, but man, these cards sure look cool. Um, good luck putting together the full set if you wanted to do that, because what is it, like 400 cards in this set? Um, you would be having yourself some serious trouble trying to get 400 of those. Bobby Catalano, thank you so much for joining us. Bobby Catalano has a channel as well. Feel free to go subscribe. I'm sure she would not turn down your subscription. Uh, she is a big Tampa Bay Ray fan. Uh, so if you have any cool Tampa Bay Ray cards, feel free to reach out to her. Like I said, one pack away from greatness. Uh, we will be happy to get a Anthony Edwards or a LaMelo Ball autograph. Or like a really cool, like, uh, I don't know, like Larry Bird autograph or Magic Johnson or someone crazy. So like I said, the first 20 or so cards of every pack are just veterans. Um, I don't. I, we haven't gotten any parallels in the first 20 cards, so I don't know if it's even possible to... Um, You are very welcome, Bobby. Uh, like I said, there is six people here, according to my counter, up in the corner of the screen. So if everyone's able to get a couple of subs, um, that would be fantastic. I mean, I would that would be awesome. I'd, like uh, I think Don't Talk to Robots got to three hundred or two hundred during one of my streams, and it made me feel good. So from the list, I am looking. We're looking for Lamelo, Ty Tyrese Halliburton, Jay Sean Tate, Anthony Edwards, and Isaiah Stewart. There we go. So we've gotten um, we've gotten Lamelo. We've gotten Ed Anthony Edwards. We have not gotten a Halliburton. We have not gotten a Tate. And we have not gotten a Stewart. So, oh, hello. That must be something. There is a Kemba Walker. That is a different, that is definitely a different color than any of the, because here's your regular cards. It is a, a parallel of some sort, um, but it has no numbering on it. So I have no idea how rare it is. But uh, there's a Kemba Walker. Did we not get one of those blue? No, we're not getting a blue card in this one. Um, so I guess we got that parallel instead. Here's a LeBron James frequent flyer. Just just for the sake, I am going to sleeve up the LeBron James because it never hurts. Um, never hurts to sleeve up a LeBron James. There is a Brandon Ingram vanity plate. And follow it up. Let's see what it says. Don't know about worth though. Try to wait. Pepper, pepper is really good. Do you see the dessert? It goes, oh, you're talking about your dessert. Okay. So we have a... First rookie is going to be a Cassius Stanley, a Jemias Ramsey. Follow it up with a Alexej Pokusevsky. And that is going to be an, uh, it's going to be an upside down, but it's an Isaac Okoro for the Cleveland Cavaliers. I am sleeping up all the rookies regardless of, there's an Isaiah Stewart for the Detroit Pistons. Isaiah Stewart, you just mentioned him. Thank you for doing that. And then a Jordan Nuora. So there's a chance that we get all of the rookies by the time I'm done with these 10 fat packs. I'm not sure. We shall see. I would rather get duplicates of Lamelo and Anthony Edwards, though. I would definitely rather get duplicates. Uh, we did get the best pull was probably this Kemba Walker, this weird parallel card. Um, food, Kevin, I like. Who doesn't like food? Are there people out there who don't like food? Who are these people? Do they exist? Like I said, one pack away from greatness. So now would be the time to pull that crazy autograph. Crazy autograph. Like monster, like a $100, $100 autograph or something. There's an Alex Caruso. Alfred Payton. Karis Lubert. Ben Simmons. Mark Gasol. Shaw Racing, which one? Um, I'm confused. What, what is your question, Shaw? I get, I get confused if you haven't noticed. There's a Zion second year card. Brooke Lopez, a Joe Inglis. As you can tell, there's a lot of flipping around. Davis Veterans, Bam Adebayo, Michael Porter Jr., Colin Sexton, a Marvin Bagley, Cameron Johnson, TJ Warren, Cody Zeller. Darius Bazzi. Are we not going to get? We're not going to get another one of those blue ones. Instead, we're going to get a Nikola Jokic. And it is going to be a parallel of some sort. And there is no numbering, but it's definitely a parallel because it's got some weird coloring to it. Some cool par coloring um, English. So there is a vanity plate of Kyrie Irving. 
We got a slam insert of uh, Kevin Durant. And uh, not sure how valuable these slam inserts are, but uh, I will definitely sleeve it up. Lights, camera, action. You know what? I thought all the lights, camera, actions had like weird foil, but they do not apparently because that one is a matte finish. So there's a Killian Hayes for the Detroit Pistons. So I'll have to go back and look at some of these. Uh, I have all the inserts and rookies to the side. There's an Aaron Nesmith. It's always nice when you open stuff you're not used to, and then you have to go look stuff up. But you know what? Like I said, this is going to be the only basketball probably that I'm going to have. Prism is like a myth to me. Um, what's the other one? Uh, you know, I've had how this. You know, this is as good as it's going to get probably for basketball for me. Desmond Bain and a Cassius Stanley. Um, like I said, you know, this is about as good as it's going to get for me as far as basketball goes. And uh, I'll probably be back to baseball for a while, um, which is fine. So we did get the six rookies again. Aaron Nesmith, Obi Toppin, Desmond Bain, Cassius Stanley, Tyrese Maxey, and Killian Hayes. We did get that slam insert and the Nikola Jokic. Um, and we got, I think, what, five more of these packs to go. And that'll do it for the old, uh says here, just saw a beautiful Jake McGee card. I miss Gasol already. Raps ain't the same. I don't get to do much basketball either, mostly baseball, football, and racing. Apparently, I'm missing your notifications. Also, you're missing my notifications? Are you... You know what you might want to do? Maybe if you hit the bell and then take notifications off and then and then re-notify and then hit it again. Uh, one pack away from greatness. It has been working for me uh, when I've been saying one pack away from greatness, so I'm going to keep saying it, and let's see if it keeps working. Yeah, like, maybe if you have to... Um, uh, maybe if you, like, unnotify yourself and then re-notify, maybe that works. I have no idea. The tube, if you've noticed, the tube is a very strange beast. It's a very strange beast. There's a Lonzo ball. Um, it's a very odd beast. And I do not pretend to know uh, the inner workings of such beast. Catavius Caldwell Pope. There's a Torian Prince. There was a spacer. So I don't know if the spacer means we're going to get uh, a Lamella ball autograph or an Anthony Edwards autograph. Uh, or Magic Johnson or Larry Bird autograph. Uh, did you try turning it off and back on again? It's really good advice. I know it's not the best advice in the history of the universe, but maybe that'll, I don't know, maybe that'll do it. It's amazing how many times I reboot my computer and that, and it actually does work. So you have a LaMarcus Aldridge parallel card this time. I'll check the back, but none of these have had numbers. It does not have a number, but it's a LaMarcus Aldridge. Man, it'd be nice if it was LeBron James, huh? Wouldn't it be nice? Wouldn't it be great to get like a LeBron James autograph? That'd be crazy. There's a LeBron James a lights camera action insert. God, man, I would I don't have a LeBron James autograph at all. So vanity plate of Damian Lillard and a slam insert this time of Ja Morant. Ja Morant. So I don't know. I don't think that the uh, spacer was hiding um, an autograph this time because we're into the rookies already. So he cashes. Winston, a Trey Jones, Emmanuel Quickly. Quickly is a great name for a, a basketball player, by the way. Quickly would be good for like a shortstop. There's an Anthony Edwards rookie card. Quickly, let me get back to it. Uh, it'd be a great name for like a shortstop who steals bases in baseball. Quickly, oh my god! So Anthony Edwards. So that's the second Edwards that we have pulled. He was the number one pick. Then we have a Sadiq. Bay and a Tyler. Are they brothers? Sadiq Bay and Tyler Bay? Are they brothers or they just happen to both have the, the last name Bay? Um, but yeah. We got the Anthony Edwards. It says here, have you seen the IT crowd? Funniest show ever, in my opinion. Uh, racing. I have seen it. Um, yeah. Have you tried turning it off and on? Have you tried? Um, yes, I have tried. The way that doesn't work. By the way, we have three packs to go. And then if you want, I could do a recap. Um, but let's see. Uh, yep, I've opened a few Donruss racing boxes. By the way, with that, got a Chase Elliott buyback auto 105. Wow, I'll check that out. Oh, it's cool. Anyway, so I'll say it again one pack away from greatness. We have three more to go. Like I said, it'd be crazy to pull like a uh, Lamella Ball autograph, a Anthony Edwards autograph, a LeBron James autograph, Zion. 
uh, John Morant. Not to be picky, but I mean, if you're going to ask, then ask for like amazing stuff. Oh, we're back to getting the blue parallels. I thought that the blue parallels were one a pack, but they are not. So they're even rarer than I thought. Got to go check neglected email and get some Z's. Have a good night. Well, thank you so much for joining us. Catalano. Go subscribe if you are so inclined. Jimmy Butler. Will Barton. Andre Drummond. Man, I hope this blue is either a LaMelo Ball and Anthony Edwards or a LeBron James. Just putting it out there to the universe. And it's going to be... Seku Doom Booya. Second year Seku card. So, man, it's got to be really hard. It's got to be really hard to pull one of these awesome blues. It's got to be super hard. There's a Pascal Siakam. LeBron James, lights, camera, action. This is the first arriving now that we've gotten. And it is LaMelo Ball arriving now. That's right. You're arriving, buddy. You are arriving. That is the first arriving now that we have pulled um, out of, what, eight or nine packs? It says, Talon Cards, thank you so much for joining. Feel free to go subscribe to Talon Cards. I'm sure they would very much appreciate it. I'm sure they would not turn it down. There's a James Wiseman rookie card. We have a Kira Lewis Jr. Talon Cards, like I said, go subscribe if you are so inclined. Um there's a key to Kira Lewis, like I said, a precious Hachi Uwa, a Leandro Bolmaro. Follow it up, we have a Tyrell Cherry and a RJ Hampton. So the big poll was the arriving now of Lamella Ball. That is the only arriving now we have pulled so far. I did not realize that those inserts. Uh, were quite that rare. That's because it was arriving now, not not a while ago. Oh, it's so good. That's so good. Anyway, uh, it's not arriving later, Kevin. Anyway, two packs to go. We're only one pack away from greatness. And uh, man, I would love to get one more autograph, and I would love for it to be like a LeBron James or a Zion or a rookie card autograph would be even better. That would be fantastic. A green. Have a Pascal Siakam, Mitchell Robinson, a Malik Beasley, Dwight Powell. Like I said, I'm kind of speeding through the first 20 cards because they are all veterans. They are not, there has not been a single rookie in the first 20 or so cards of any of these packs, so there is no reason to belabor them because I'm not sure. Oh, we got something in here, I think. Or maybe we don't. Um, I don't know. There's a great craving for random NBA hoops base cards. Kristen Thompson, Lamarcus Aldridge. We got oh, so Tristan Thompson is going to be the parallel this time because there's the base version. I was hoping it was going to be a bigger name than Tristan Thompson. I have to admit, I was hoping it was going to be a much bigger name than Tristan Thompson. But we'll take it. Um, none of these, none of these parallels are numbered at all. By the way, we haven't gotten a single numbered card um, yet. We get some weird foil thing coming up. There's a Victor Oladipo. It's only the second one of these, by the way, of these jersey swaps. Who is this parallel weird foil going to be? Is it going to be like LeBron James? Is it? Is it? Is it? Vanity plate of Steph Curry. Hey, you know what? That's still a good name. Steph Curry is still a good name. I will take it. The Lamella is fifteen to twenty dollars. Last sold for eighteen. So I pay for a new one of those packs. Wow. I am so glad that uh, that is awesome. Thank you for giving me an update because I cannot go check out prices while I am opening packs. This year, um, I was waiting for you to say that. Um, you know what? Sometimes it doesn't come to me, man. Sometimes it just, you know, there's a cash of Stanley. So I guess the vanity plates come in foil versions and uh, regular matte versions. And uh, that is good to know, too. You know what? Could have done my research. Did not do my research. I fully admit it. Um, you know what? I just wanted open packs. I uh, There's going to be one more pack after this. The rookies, we have an Isaiah Stewart, a Jordan Nora, and an Isaac Okoro. Uh, I'm not sure if we got the full set of rookies. We've gotten multiple Anthony Edwards. I think we've only gotten one base LaMelo and then one insert LaMelo. 
Um, so they are not super easy to pull. They are not super easy to pull, as it turns out. I think I've gone through an entire pack of sleeves. I think I might have gone through two packs of sleeves. I've been doing so much sleeving. It's crazy the amount of sleeving I've been doing. All right. Last pack. Magic. One pack away from greatness. And I'm opening the pack right now. So let's pull that crazy, crazy LaMelo Ball autograph. Fire. Or LeBron James. You know, like I said. Asking the universe what the universe is willing to give me. I'll take whatever the universe is willing to give me at this point. So we do have, it looks like, one of those uh, blue foils. So if we're going to get that, might as well be LaMelo or an Anthony Edwards or LeBron. Just going to throw it on out there. See who's listening. Got base card city. Base card city. If you think I'm going fast, man, have you ever opened a pack just not off camera? Sometimes you just blaze through it and get to the middle. And it, honestly, it kind of takes the joy out of it. Um, the one thing about doing things on camera is you want it to be slower. So here we go. LaMelo Ball, LeBron James, Anthony Edwards. And it's going to be a Ben Simmons. So it's still a good name. Not like the monster name, but I have no idea what that is worth. But uh could be worse. There are worse names out there than Ben Simmons. That's for sure. Blue, uh, it's cool. Look at So we got a slam insert. This time it is Alan Iverson. And the lights, camera, action, James Harden. And then, ooh, it looks like we have a rookie card parallel of Elijah Hughes. Man, I wish that was a monster name, but there's a rookie card parallel of Elijah Hughes. Not familiar with much of Mr. Elijah Hughes, but maybe that's a good pull. Who knows? Uh, we have a Josh Cran. A Killian Hayes. A Aaron Nesmith. Obi Toppin. Are we topping this? Will we be topping this? Tyrese. Maxi, man, I'm almost out of sleeves in this one. Desmond Bain and a Tyrese Maxi says Eric says I think what I've seen on eBay you were looking for hollow purple vanity plates. Those are worth the most. I have not pulled a single one of those. This was the last pack, so it looks like I will, I will never pull one of those because I am definitely not going to pony up more money for any of these. But you know what? I had myself a good time over the last hour and 15 minutes. Probably the biggest poll. Uh, we did get three autographs through this whole opening. We have uh, back Chronicles. We had a Chris Boucher autograph. We also had a Terrence Davis autograph. And then we pulled a Hall of Fame Walt Frazier autograph. We also pulled a Chris Humphreys autograph, but I, it's in a stack and I haven't pulled it up. Um, I'm not going to do a full recap because I'm going to be honest. Um, there's like hundreds of cards that are sleeved up. So that would be that would be a pretty comprehensive recap. But I had a whole month, whole bunch of good time. Whole bunch of good time. I had a great time. Uh, I thank you so much for joining me. I hope you had a good time as well. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments section. Have a great rest of your evening and take care. Bye.